Welcome to iMovie part two on the iPad. We're gonna take a look at kind of moving around and manipulating some more advanced editing skills and just moving around in iMovie itself. So a few things you need to be aware of. Anytime you see a little arrow like this, um, it means to take you back one level. So right here, we're in this movie project. Up here in the left-hand corner, corner, if I click that, it takes me back one level to information about this video. It also allows me to rename it um, trash it, play it, do some other things with it. If I go back one more time, it's going to take me to a list of all the videos that I currently have on my iPad. If I want to edit one of these, I just tap on it. It takes me back to this screen. I click the little pencil and that allows me to get into edit view. All right, so more advanced editing. Um, again, tap once to pull up editing abilities on a clip tap and hold to move it around. So I'm gonna tap once on this video clip and it's gonna give me the edit options down here at the bottom. So right now I'm on the video and here are the things I can do to the video. I can add a title, I can change the speed, I can split the video, I can freeze it, I can duplicate it, or I can trash it. So we're gonna look at adding a title. When I click on a title, it gives me the ability to have none, opening, middle, or closing. And this all depends on the theme. So back when we talked about a theme, really doesn't matter unless you're putting text on there. This is what we're talking about. So you can look at this particular theme. This is what the text would look like on here. If you wanna change the theme, down here in the gear, bottom right hand corner, here are the different themes. So if I click neon, you can see that the style of title changes dramatically. So you can change the different themes that you want by clicking the gear down here. All right, the other options that you have while you're in this viewpoint, you have some more advanced um, text editing options. So here are all kinds of different options for text that you can put in. If I wanna back out of this text um, area, I just click the arrow back here. And when I get out of here, you notice that that was on the video I also have audio options in here. So if I tap on audio, it allows me to change the volume of the audio on this clip. So maybe I want it muted or maybe I want it louder. I drag it back and forth depending on what I want the audio to be. So there's mute all the way up to 500%, so really loud there. Um, so that's how you adjust the particular audio in there. To get out of this completely, just tap anywhere around here and it will take you off of this video clip. Um, so you notice I just tapped right over here and now it's no longer selected. The um, options are the same for audio or similar to audio. I tap it once, you notice I can drag it longer or shorter and then I can also make the audio louder or softer, change the speed, fade in and out, trash it, or a few other audio options over here. They're a little bit more advanced if you wanna go play around with those. So those are the audio options I have. Again, to get out of this edit view, just tap somewhere over an empty space and I'm out of there. The other main thing that you might want to do is some sort of audio recording of your own voice over the top of a video clip. So down here in the bottom, we have this microphone. If you tap on it, it's gonna pull up a recorder. You can see it here. Um, I have to hit record for it to start and then it's gonna count down and it's gonna start wherever I have my timeline right here. So I can move this around to where I wanna start, hit record, it will count down, it'll start recording. When I hit stop, it will insert that recording right down here into my video. And I can have multiple audio recordings in one clip. So I have my video, which can have audio on it. I can have music, which is obviously audio. I can have a narration, and then I can also put sound effects in there as well. So you can have multiple layers of audio in one video in order to get the effect that you want. So those are the majority of the edit options. Remember, tap once to get the edit options, okay? Tap once, the yellow border comes up and it shows you your edit options across the bottom of anything that you have in there. Press and hold and it makes it come loose. You can delete it or you can move around the order of it. Those are the two main things that you have to build, be able to do.